hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you one of the library of uh, node.js which allows you to parse and validate csv files which is called as csv dash string this is basically the package guys which is a very popular package it is having a lot of downloads if you see 70,000 weekly downloads are there it's a very popular csv module of node.js and uh, basically it allows you to parse or validate the csv string i have given all the source code all the example code which i will use in this video in the description of the video so you can read my blog post step by step instruction is given so let me just show you how it is done here first of all you need to install that library we will import this library here by the required statement which is csv dash string right here at the very top and now guys we will take example par csv so now we will simply use this module which is csv it contains a method which is called as parse and uh, basically we can use this method to parse any csv string here if i say a comma b comma c and i put a new line character and then we will say e comma f comma g so it's a valid csv string so now if i basically console log it parse it so what i will find out inside command line you will see that it will basically convert this into a array of json object which is c first array is basically a comma b comma c which i have written in the first line and then there is a new line character so then efg basically has another object efg you will see that and similarly we have if you know comma separated value this is the valid csv string we have written so it is converted it to an own json object so basically we have also a second object here which we can define here this basically it's a property that we can set here i think this uh, uh, if you know if you want to basically output into a instead of array into an object we have a property called as output so here we can provide objects instead of array so if you want the uh, uh, output in a object like structure then you can simply say here object so now if you see here let me refresh this application node more index.js so you will see that basically it will now have array of objects first basically this these are the column names a b c so we can simply write here uh, we can read this from this file here so let's suppose i have this uh, users.csv so now i construct a simple csv file name age country we have three columns here and then we have got the data and uh, now we have adam 21 so now we have this comma separated value file guys csv file now we need to parse this file and convert this into an array of objects so now we can simply first of all import the file system module so to import uh, to read it from that file so we can simply pass here file system dot read file and here we can pass the path of the file from which we need to read so we will say users dot csv so what you will see guys basically it is saying that uh, uh, if you just refresh it okay i think uh, users.csv i think we need to convert this into json we need to surround this into It is saying that unexpected token I think we need to use json.shringify here instead so you will see that it has converted to type buffer 78 uh, I think we can simply pass a string here instead of passing it from the file what we can say is that here basically we can pass a string here output uh, okay i saw it so here we can simply say here 
uh, name comma age comma country and then we can have a records here we will put a new line character here and then we will simply say john 25 the same data that we are writing here so now if you print it out you will now see basically you will see that it has converted to an array of objects which is having three properties name age country name age country you will see that so the next function guys it performs basically it can even validate your data as well if i paste the example code here you will see that it has a detect function this library has a detect function which will basically detect it's a valid one because it is comma separated it can even replace by semicolon the character needs to be same if i refresh it you will see this is all valid so if i now put a random one which is uh, let's suppose this one so this one will be if i put a normal string here this is not a valid csv file you will see it it returns a delimiter as a return type but for this one it doesn't return a delimiter because it's, it's not a valid it's a simple string here so it doesn't have a delimiter so this in this case it's not a valid csv file so this is basically the library guys which allows you to parse and validate csv strings all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much